Okay, so this is pretty much what the helmet looks like now. I guess technically this is part two of the previous video. Um, but like I said, what you want to do is just darken the top and then slowly fade it out on the bottom. And this is pretty much the effect you create from that. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of, I guess, color to it. There were a lot of different shades of brown, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, a few things I didn't go over in the previous video. Um, an alternative to, or an alternative to putting holes in your helmet, you could use a, uh, what's it called, a cheese shredder. I did try that, and I would probably purchase, like if you guys have like a sharp one, that'd probably be way better. But the one I have didn't really kind of shred it. I don't know. It might just be that like mine's like a $5 one or something, you know. Um, but yeah, mine didn't really work too well. But I mean, you guys might have different results. But this is pretty much what the helmet looks like. Um, like I said, um, there's this groove that's a little bit more dirtier because, you know, the soldier's grabbing it, taking his helmet off, so on and so forth. And, um, you know, the top see a lot of lines that kind of thing however the bottom is a little bit more cleaner you just kind of see the the uh, discoloration you know I don't know that just kind of adds I guess character makes your helmet look like it has a story to it but um, this is just a short video um, but uh, yeah guys I'll see you later